Dear Mr. Mayor, Mr. Slavojevic, Dr. Zurov, great to see you again in Serbia, colleagues from the Swedish and the US Embassy, uh, Ms. Jasen Ciric and colleagues, Rabbi Asio, from the Jewish communities all around Serbia. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I am deeply honored to be here today as a representative of the people and the state of Israel, sharing this solemn occasion with all of you. Izuzetna mi je čast što sam danas ovdje kao predstavnik naroda i države Izrael, delići se svima vama ovaj svečanim trenutom. 70 years ago, the state of Israel has established Yad Vashem, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center, to preserve the memory of 6 million Jews murdered by the Nazi regime and its collaborators in the Second World War, but also to recognize and honor those non-Jews who put their own life at risk in order to save Jews in the darkest time in their history. They are the righteous among the nations, the highest honor bestowed by the Jewish people through the State of Israel on non-Jews. On this day, more than 28,000 people worldwide were decorated as righteous among the nations, over 140 of them from Serbia. Pre 70 godina država Izrael osnovala je Memorialni centar Holokausta Jad Vašem kako bi sačuvala uspomenu na 6 miliona jevreja koje su nacisti i njihovi savjetnici ubili do kontrolu svjetskog rata, ali i kako bi izrazila poštovanje onim nejevrejima koji su rizikovali svoje živote kako bi spasili jevreje u najmračnim danima njihove istorije. To su pravednici među nacijama, najveća počast koju izramska država u ime jevrijskog naroda ukazuje nejevrijom. Do danas je medaljom pravednika odlikovano više od 28.000 ljudi širom svijeta, a među njima više od 140 svijeta. Today we are commemorating 80 years since the horrifying day when the entire Jewish community of Europe was sentenced to death. Under the cover of night, men, women and children were collected from their homes to be sent to the death camps. The pure Jews suffered the fate of the Jewish communities all over occupied Europe. The racial, racial laws outlined by the Nazi regime were followed by the letter and you had to annihilate it simply because you were a Jew. No trial, no jury, no defense, no exceptions. Men, women, children, babies. The Nazi death machine was diabol diabolically efficient. The civilization failed to timely understand and act to prevent the horrors of the Holocaust. Danas obeležavamo 80 godina od onog užasnog dana kada je celokupna jevrejska zajednica Pirota bila osuđena na smrt. Pod okrenjem noći, žene, muškarci i deca pokupljeni su iz svojih domova kako bi bili odvedeni u logore smrti. Pirotski jevreji doživjeli su sudbinu jevrejske zajednice širom okupirane Evrope. Rasni zakoni koji ispostavio nacistički režim sprovođeni su do posljednjeg slova i morao si biti ubijen jednostavno zato što si jebe. Bez suda, porote, bez prava na odbranu i bez izuzetka. Muškarci, žene, deca, odličar. Nacistička mašina smrti bila je nemojima efikasna. Čovečanstvo nije na vreme shvatilo niti reagovalo da spreči užase okavosti. However, in these dark days of at most hopelessness, there were individuals whose immense courage redeemed the humanity, the righteous among the nations. All of the survivors, survivor Eli Wiesel wrote, In those times there was darkness everywhere, in heaven and on earth. All the gates of compassion seems to have been closed. The killer killed and the Jews died, the outside world adopted an attitude either of complicity or of indifference. Only a few had the courage to care. These few men and women were vulnerable, afraid, helpless. What made them different from their fellow citizens? Why were there so few? Let us remember, what hurts the victims most is not the cruelty of the oppressor, but the silence of the bystander. Let us not forget, after all, there is always a moment when moral choice is made. 
when so, we must know these good people who helped Jews during the Holocaust. We must learn from them, and in gratitude and hope, we must remember them. Pa ipak, u tim mračnim danima potpuno beznađa, bilo je pojedinaca če je ogromna hrabrost iskupila čovečanstvo. To su bili pravenici među nacijama. Eli Wiesel je pisao, u tim vremenima tama je bila svuda. Na nebu i na zemlji sve kapi je samilosti kao da su se zatvorile. Ubijica je ubijao, jevreji su stradili, a spoljni svet se upredirivao za saučesništvo ili ravnodušnost. Samo je policina imala hrabrosti da postupi drugačije. Ti malopredni muškarci i žene bili su ranjivi, uplošeni, bezpomoćni. Šta ih je razlikovalo od ostalih sugrađena, zašto ih je bilo samo ne policina? Zapamtite, ono što žrtvu boli najviše nije surovo skrvnika, već će utanje sve roka. Ne zaboravimo da uvek nastupi trenutak moralne odluke. I zato moramo znati te dobre ljude koji su pomagali jednim u vreme holokausta. Moramo od njih učiti i moramo ih pamtiti u znadu i za hvalost. Throughout my diplomatic career I served in countries like Hungary and Poland. And the issue of righteous among the nations has always intrigued questions like how come there were not more like them? And I always thought about myself. I tend to see myself as a moral person. And yet, would I have the courage to risk not only my own life, but rather my entire family, in order to save others? Yes, there is no doubt that that was the right moral thing to do. But yes, there, is also, there can also be no doubt that it was probably the least logic thing to do. Taking those right moral decisions under those unbearable circumstances is by far the most noble act of humanity. That is exactly why there are very few missions as an Israeli diplomat and a grandson of Holocaust survivors from Budapest, which makes me more proud to conduct than this one today. Toko moje diplomatske karijere bio sam na službi u Mađarskoj i Polskoj. Tema pravednika među nacijama uvek je nametala pitanje kako to da ih nije bilo više. I onda bih se zapitao, mislim za sebe da sam moralna osoba, pa ipak, Da li bih imao hrabrosti da rizikujem ne samo sobstveni život, iz živote cele svoje porodice, kako bih spasao nekom drugom? Tačno je da je to bez ikakve sumi izuzetan moralni čin, ali je isto tako tačno da bi to bila najmenja logična odluka. Doniti ispravne moralne odluke u tako nepodnošljivim okolnostima apsolutno je najveličanstveniji čin hrvatski. I upravo zbog toga malo je zadatak kako je imam kao izraelski diplomata i kao unog preživali holokauste iz Budimpešte, koji me toliko ispunjavaju u Polosu. As we are commemorating the millions that perished, we are gathered now to celebrate life, to glorify the memory of the heroes, whose exceptional bravery and selfless deed will never be forgotten. Over 140 Serbs received the medal as of now. Today, Ljubimir and Darinka Ljubenović are added to this noble list. As we are about to hear their multiple rescue story, I am expressing my deepest gratitude on behalf of the Jewish people. I dok se stugom sećamo miliona koji su ubijeni, ovde smo se okupili da proslavimo život. Istinske heroje, čiju izuzetnu požastovanost i nesebičnost nikada nećemo zagovati. Medalje Zdravljenika do sada je odlikovano više od 140 Srba. Danas im se pridružuju Ljubomir i Darin Krivičić. I dok budemo slušati u priču o spasavanju narodu filmskoj u ime jevijskog naroda, izražavam svoju najdobu zahvalu. 